Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about a JEE main 2015 question which is based on kinematic equations. Here is the question. It says two stones are sewn up simultaneously from the edge of a cliff. Cliff is 240 meter high with initial speed of 10 meter per second and 40 meter per second respectively. Which of the following graph best represents the time variation of relative position of the second stone with respect to the first stone. So here are four graphs are given and graphs are between y2 minus y1 versus time. y2 and y1 are the positions of first and second stone. So y2 minus y1 is the respective position of both stones. So at first we will find the time taken by both stones to reach the ground because graph also involves time. Uh, let's draw first so that you can visualize the things easily. So this is a cliff. Now a ball is thrown up with velocity v and after some time it reaches the ground here. The height of the cliff is given 240 meter. So graphs are given for positions of the ball. So initially ball is at the cliff. We will take this position as y equals to 0 position. We take initial position as 0 to make calculations easier. So the ground is lower. So this position must be y equals to minus 240. So first of all we are going to find time taken by first stone. It's vertical motion. So we are choosing y axis. We will use the formula delta y equals v naught t plus half a t square. Delta y is the displacement that is y2 minus y1. So it would be first uh, position is 0. So displacement is minus 240. And the initial speed of first stone is 10 meter per second. Ball is falling freely. So acceleration would be here minus g because ball is thrown up. So up is the positive position and g x down. So acceleration would be negative here. So it would be minus 10. Gravity is 10 here. So half minus 10 t square. We need to solve the whole equation and then find the value of the time t. So for that we will make a quadratic equation like uh, this whole term will give us 5 t square. This would come here minus 10 t. Uh, we are taking all the terms to the left side and then minus 240 equals 0. This is our quadratic equation. We need to solve it. You can make factors. You can use quadratic formula to solve this equation and then we got t equals to 8 second. So first stone took 8 second to reach the ground. Now let's find the time for second stone. Same way we will use the formula delta y equals to v naught t plus half a t square. Uh, displacement of second stone is also minus 240 but its initial speed is 40 meter per second and a is minus 10 t square. Then again we will make a equation so 5 t square minus 40 t minus 240. We need to solve it. You can use quadratic equation or you can also make the factors and then find the time. We got 12 seconds. So second stone took 12 seconds to reach the ground. So from here to here they took 8 second and 12 second. Now let's uh, look at our graphs. Graphs are between y2 minus y1 and time t. So let's make an equation for y2 minus y1. y2 is the position of second stone and y1 is the position of first stone. So you know y2 equals v2 t. Uh, I am taking v2 as the initial velocity of the second stone plus half a t square and y1 would be v1 t plus half a t square. Half a t square, half a t square cancelled out. v2 is 40, v1 is 10 that equals 30 t. So we got the equation of y2 minus y1 equals 30 t. This equation is like a constant. So it will give a graph as a straight line like this. This kind of equation gives you a straight line. 
that's why you can see the all the graphs are showing straight line see first stone is in the air only till the 8 second so after 8 second only the second stone is in the air so y2 minus y1 after 8 second position of first stone is minus 240 it is at the ground here so y2 is b2 t plus half at square and position of y1 is minus 240 so this is the equation this equation has the t square term and t square gives you a curved graph like this or like that it would not be a straight line it would be a curved graph so let's check all the graphs first graph shows a straight line then again a straight line so it's wrong second graph is showing a straight line and second graph showing both stone reach the ground at time 12 second and that's wrong because first stone reaches the ground at 8 second not at 12 seconds so that's also wrong check the third graph and the fourth graph both graph shows a straight line till the time 8 second and that's correct because before 8 second we got a equation 30t and that shows a straight line and after 8 second means this graph this graph should be a curve like this because we are having a equation like t square but which curve this one or that one so for that we need to check the slope of the graph you know in the position time graph slope of the graph shows the velocity of the object and when a stone is coming down even the second stone is coming down its velocity is increasing so the graph which shows increasing velocity would be the correct graph so let's check the slope this here at this point here you can see slope of this graph is increasing that shows increasing velocity in this case slope is decreasing so the third graph is the correct graph and fourth one is wrong i hope you understand the concept of the question here in the following video we will discuss projectile motions so stay tuned and study more don't forget to subscribe share and likes for daily updates thank you